We're here. Entrance to Temporal Tower. Hmm. Not you mention it. In the past, we see Celiona are all sick here, aren't they? Temporal Tower. Well, it's not exactly going to have the same Pokémon as the Temporal Tower we were familiar with. After all, this is a bad future. Yeah, let's deal with you right quick. Seriously, Duskinor? about to have you use up my alchemical stock. Not any dude. Another new change, the Forewarn ability. If I remember correctly, a Pokémon with that ability has a higher chance of dodging moves that attack from a distance. Pretty dangerous ability. right now, a few more thorns. And a quick end to this Miss Magius. Thank you. One of two ain't bad. I'll take one of two. Being fairly lucky with the exits. I almost think I'm going a little too quickly. Maybe I'll dick around on this floor a little bit just to Like, I understand that uh, Grovile is a very impatient mon, but... Me? I'm not. I'm... I'd rather... If I know what type of challenge I'm going to be facing, I'd rather try to prepare for it ahead of time if I can. That means doing a whole bunch of looting just to make sure I have the items necessary when it comes down to it. That's the ditto. No other Pokémon would use Turbo. Fiber seed. Excellent. Just what I wanted. Just what I needed. Uh. Oh, you. Something I want to play some Mario. Hmm. Eh. Okay, never mind. I won't play any Mario. Thanks, Magnemite. That's gonna recover from that really quickly. I kinda wanna check out Q skills now. Okay, those look standard. I thought you'd have self-cure. 
it makes sense considering Dusk Noir is said to be fairly clever. Also got non-trader power saver. That's also nice. Exclusive move user. Uses only moves, not its regular attack. Okay. For the most part, it seems to be standard care. Still a really nice stack of abilities. Credit. Stamina Band. Also known as Absolute Trash. Because I don't really need to worry about my stomach emptying if I'm at least decently quick about getting through these doors. Ah! Gross! Don't kiss me! He says as he uses up some water. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse, it could be Draining Kiss, but even still. <laughs> the Ghastly went in for a smooch and got more than what it bargained for. <laughs> oh my. Gave him the good side. <laughs> Ow! Take care of that, or not? Great. And just to protect us to the dusk here. Take out that clay all in one shot. Climb pretty far. Almost to the pinnacle. And there. That's where Master Dialga is. Hey, you're a vile. And once we're there, you plan on fighting right away. Don't know if it'll be right away or not. The second I catch a whiff of trouble, I'll move in immediately to handle it. Well, before that, you give me a little time to talk to Master Dialga. I want to know his two in its true intentions. No way. If you talk you'll probably begin to side with him. Besides, the new henchman will likely be there as well. Then, it'll be three on one. Chances of me winning will be zero. <laughs> At least. I don't plan on making friends with the new henchman. Fine. I won't fight by your side on the pinnacle. After you fight Master Dialga, and once you're defeated, I'll ask him. Do what you want. Welcome to uh, the final extra story within Explorers of Sky, I should say. Also known as the adventure lost to time and darkness. Luminous Orb? Seriously? Out of all items that you could give in the game, a Luminous Orb. With a series of dungeons where the Luminous Orb really doesn't have a chance in hell to help me. What the? Oh, that's cheeky. That's super cheeky, Ghastly! <laughs> Of a medal for that. But yeah, I hope you're doing well, Ops. And I can't switch. Actually, do I have a switcher orb? 
actually like it would matter, considering even if I were to use the Switcher Orb, there's no guarantee that I'd actually hit the target I want to hit. It's a 1 in 8 shot. I'm better off just using Iron Thorns. Weird. Ditto. That's kind of meh. Ah! Oh, you've got the... Can I actually get some HP back? Thank you, game. Because I kind of... <laughs> game. Game, you're making me bitter. <laughs> You making me bitter like coffee. I do like my coffee bitter, but at the same right. Ooh. Frosty. Unfortunately, uh, if a Pokemon is frozen like this, they actually can't be hit by an attack. This Magnemite, or Magneton, sorry, is literally just here for the ride. <laughs> Radar Orb. Wow, I'm getting shit luck. Words eaten. They were delicious, by the way. Ah! By comparison, that isn't as useful. Granted, it is a free one-stage speed buff to everyone, but... Oh, you... Several food items went bad. Of course. Of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course. That's like half of my apples right then and there. Thanks, game. Nice. It's two Pokemon. In that case, let's dig in. Dusk Noir will take out one, and Miss Magis will move up, and I. I should have thought about that a little more. It's a Miss Magius. The chance of it having Levitate is pretty much guaranteed me. Why did you think using a ground-type move effectively on a Pokémon with Levitate would ever be a good idea? Granted, in any other situation, it might have been. Okay, almost any other situation. If the Pokémon were a Flying-type, then again, bad day. Bad day written all over it. A terrible decision. 
Oh, good. That's a Cleedle. So it's got Levitate. And of course, you've got Full Mark. Donk. Finally. Alright, made it through the dungeon. What you see over there, Grovile, is the pinnacle. Got it. Hmm. Nobody's here. That's very strange. Master Dialga is usually right there. Why isn't he there now? Sable, I said Dialga would send a final agent, but to send another agent back to the past. I expect it would take an enormous amount of power to generate that kind of power. Dialga would have to hold still for quite some time. I thought he was in Temporal Tower. Well, your guess is correct. I thought so, too. That should be right. However... If he's going to send an agent back to the past, there is another method. Another method? Exactly. If he, if he needs to send the agent through time... <laughs> well, you should know what method I'm talking about. Oh, the passage of time. You've got to be kidding me. Exactly. Rather than waiting for Master Dialga to regenerate, They'll most likely look for Celebi and use the passage of time to send the agent back. I'm sure of it. Dialga probably left to catch Celebi. This could be that. I didn't think it'd be that easy to catch Celebi. Well, if it were just the Sableye, you'd be right. But it's a different story if Master Dialga himself went to catch her. And that new henchman. I'm worried about their ability. Dusk Forest. I always met Celebi in Dusk Forest. We need to go now. No matter what, we're, no matter what, she's up against Dialga. We're most likely already too late. Shut up. She wouldn't be caught that easily. That's right. Celebi's not weak. As Dusk said, she's up against Primal Dialga. And the resourceful new henchman. The last time I fought Dusk Noir in Deep Dusk Forest, we weren't too far from here. I think Celebi would be on the lookout. We'd have left there by now. Please. Please be safe. Actually, while I'm at it, should store a bunch of items. Can we store a quick warp tube? And store those. There we go. That should be enough space. Should also save. In emergency situation. Better to save, scum. Though, uh, I wouldn't want to. So many Asmagias. They're everywhere. They're breeding! <laughs> I'm kidding. You know, Dusk Noir. Yeah? You're almost as bad as Saliana. I don't know whether to take that as a compliment or an offense. Yes. I don't know whether to take that as a compliment or an offense. Still.
Jeez, it's all... I mean, I get it. Bad future, ghost types everywhere, meaning a lot of dead Pokémon, but even still... Okay, implied dead Pokémon. Where else do you think ghost types come from? And suddenly I want to make the tasteless joke of apply brick to Eevee to create ghost type Eevee. I'm a terrible person. So is the person who made that joke. But goddamn it, they're not wrong. I can't say they're wrong. Okay, game, enough with the sand. It's coarse, it's irritating, it gets everywhere. Ow! And there's the cause of that sand. Ah, oh, new move, finally. Detect. Not a bad option, actually. Detect makes it so that you will dodge the next attack, the next uh, few attacks that head your way. Pretty useful. But I don't think I need it. Actually, I haven't really been attacking things at a distance, so maybe get rid of quick attack. In the worst case scenario, I pretty much never need to use it, but if I'm right about the type of Pokémon I'm gonna be fighting, it might be for the better that I have some way to mitigate my damage. Uh... That's a Salamence. Oh, not that to Salamence. Ah! Hello there, dead and deaf. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, pretty much. Mystery Dungeon is just really fun. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. Huh, that's a lot of fun, Mom. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of the randomizer, actually. Once I finish with the extra things I want to do with Explorers of Sky, I do want to at least take a look at it. Worst case scenario, I find some traps, I'm able to avoid them. Best case scenario, it, uh... Thanks, game. Literally nothing I can do. Salamence, you're a jerk. You're a jerk for trying that twice. traps I can avoid. <laughs> so I, yeah, I don't really need to worry about that Miss Magius, really. Quick Orb. That's... Oh! Rapierior! Didn't think I'd, we'd be encountering something that beefy. Uh, let's just give it an absorb. Power just in case. 
because my usual luck when it comes to these types of games is, hey, suddenly you're out of all the power you need for the moves that you need. Not good. Wait, Black Swamp? Black Swamp? Oh, that's not a good sign. This it, Grovile? Place you met Celebi? That's right. Quiet. Was she already captured? And taken? Or maybe she sensed danger and ran from here. It's possible she outwitted them. Maybe she's still hiding somewhere nearby. Could be anything, really. Something strange about the air here. She probably left already. Knew it. Brought me right into their trap. Dusk Noir, Dilga's new henchman. is just as crafty and wicked as you are. I am Master Dialga's only henchman. I can't allow anyone to take my place. Here they come. Round two against Sableyes. Yay. Suddenly, I'm really glad I have to text. Seriously. Okay, how best to deal with this situation? Answer! Focus weak. Because if we can deal with less Pokémon attacking us at any point in time, all the better. And that should probably disable the Wisp. Once I have a chance. Because we need to go full offense. Next target to work with. Probably... You in the lower deck. Excellent. Really, Dusknoir? Supposedly a smart Pokémon. Attacks the Pokémon under the deck. Yeah, smart indeed. Smart indeed. Seriously. Smart indeed. Waste for a five or six. Oh my nuggets? Two misses. In a row. Game? Please? Three misses in a row! <sighs> I swear, if this is going to be four misses, we are going to have a serious problem here. Give her. Thank you! Oh my god. God, that sucked. Oh my god, that sucks. Although, Dusknoir doesn't have any way of healing themselves. Give him some HP. Then the next thing I might want to do is immediately move to get that power man back. I don't want to lose that. From there... Maybe back up. Set up a detect. Perfect. And done. It sucks that I had to use two reviver seeds like that, but uh, odds weren't in my favor. I tried to do the best I could. I should have probably used some of the seeds in my inventory, thinking about it. I'm not going to claim to be the most tactical of sorts, but hey, it worked. Wait. Uh, you're squishing me! That's the idea! Tell us. What happened to Celebi? Where's Dialga? Master Dialga? Ran off in pursuit of Celebi to the Frozen Island. Frozen Island? That solitary island to the south? That right. Yeah, that's right. Ugh. 
beat it. Frozen Island. This is a different land. That's right. We'll have to move across space. And how do we do that? Don't worry. If we follow the cliff south from here, the Porygon there will send us across. What is it? Nothing. This... my arms. I feel like I've regained the strength of my arms. I should mention it. Earlier when he was pushing around the Sableye, that incredible power. There's no mistaking it. He's growing stronger than ever before. Have his wounds significantly healed? <laughs> my strength is returning. Doing all these voices kind of hurt the fur a little bit. <sighs> if I want to maintain dulcet tones, I gotta use plenty of fluids. <laughs> Special glitch! <laughs> Also, hello. This is the entrance to the special. To the Thanks! Thanks! You got me saying special now! <laughs> you know what? Screw it. Screw it. This is the entrance to the special clips. Once we pass through here, we'll come to the place where the Porygon land. Sylvie and Dialga have already gone to the frozen island. Let's hurry. You shark nugget. <laughs> Thanks. Let's see, I think I should store a few apples. Plain seeds don't really need. And in the worst case scenario, I could just, like, jump them once we finish with this story. Save me. Saving is kind of useful. It helps you bacon. You know, saving bacon. Remember your rocks. <sighs> Hi, Halter. Enjoying your spooky business? Good for you. Thank you for Viber Seed. <sighs> Always need for Viber Seeds. Love the seed! Hey. some intense looting just to recover the alchemical stock I lost. I really need the apple. Ooh, nice shot. Nice shot again. Uh, I can't believe it's already March. This is well, the end of March. Last year, because the last couple of years went by stupid quickly, and why is this year going so quickly too? I'm worried. Is someone messing with the Alga or something? 
Usually when time is passing this quickly, it's not a good sign. Then again, I could just be overly paranoid. After the uh, incident with Owen, I've kind of become a little wary of legendary Pokémon, if you know what I'm saying. Owen's ecosystem has never been the same since. And for those who have uh, played Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, you probably know what I'm talking about. That's a rock. seems to just stop advancing. <laughs> I know, right? It's like someone... It's like, uh... You ask someone to... To, uh... Throw up the spinner, and... They're like, okay, dude, let's go full tilt. Too fast, too fast! off this ride! I want off Mr. Bones' wild ride! <laughs> Alright, who is the asshole that put Miss Frizzle at the end of the wheel? Oh, wait. <laughs> I need. I need. Guess if I can get a second one of those, I can get another reviver seed. Whoop. That's just a basic apple. Not really useful. Daisy? Just not useful. someone's mouth like that. That's like the epitome of rudeness. <laughs> no? Me? Worth not to say in public for 800, spit or swallow. And I'm going to confine myself to my corner. <laughs> I'm going to confine myself to my corner, think about what I've done. Okay, that's enough time in the corner. Shinja. Give me you. Solution to all life's problems. Throw a rock at it. Spaz getting on your case? Rock. 
<laughs> Don't have enough money to pay for your groceries? Rock. Rude. Find a rock in someone's car? Rock. There's no situation where that just doesn't apply. <laughs> Rocks can be used for a number of transactions. <laughs> Please use rock responsibly. <laughs> rock responsibly. Actually face your way into a rock. Case in point. A rock solves my problem here. A little satin shadow punch. Yeah, I don't really need the blinker seed. <laughs> hey buddy, your blinker seed's on. What? Some days I question the things that come into my head. I understand that a good chunk of it is. Practically lolkek random type humor, but even still, sometimes I get some really dumb combinations I just can't help but laugh at. Hey! That blows. Person band. Person band? Person band. Okay. When worn by Pokemon, it prevents them from ever being confused. So, in other words, you could just point the Pokemon directly into a conference of. I don't know. Flat Earthers, and they'd just eat it all up. Maybe eat the Flat Earthers too. I think they tasted at least somewhat decent. Not greasy, fatty. Sweaty. <laughs> yes, Miss Drevis, you growl really well. Congratulations. Unfortunately for you, I have a special attack for emergencies like this. Yep. Good for you, you feel assured. Rest assured, you're not going to be living for any more turns than two. Just more, really, not attacking. Are you completely out of power on all your moves? <laughs> 